Hi guys, Dr. Dahlia here. So I wanna just really quickly talk about do-it-yourself masks. When the CDC had recommended that we put a mouth covering over our nose and mouth to prevent transmission, coronavirus transmission, there was a little bit of panic on what we could use to cover up our face. The N95 respirator masks need to be safe for our healthcare professionals, our first responders, and our essential workers, just like these surgical masks. And so many of the things online, unfortunately, don't seem to be that thick or possibly effective. And so I want to just quickly talk a little bit about what you need to look for. Now, these things that are sold online, they do provide a barrier. And remember, we're not trying to replicate what we can do in a hospital, but we are trying to prevent spread to the best of our abilities. And so certain materials may work. There was a study in 2013 that looked at a variety of materials compared to an N95 respirator, and they found that vacuum bags might provide an adequate filter. They also found that dish claws or wash claws could possibly work. Um, they looked at antimicrobial pillowcases versus regular pillowcases and t-shirts. Way down the list, they found silk to be eh, so-so. Silk is found in panties. So when you see people walking around with panties on their face, they're really not protecting coronavirus. They might be doing it for another reason. That being said, however, I do think a bra might work. So the bra might be an effective barrier because there's a way for you to double up on the cups and allow some extra layers and some extra barriers. Plus, these things are easily washable. A mask needs to be washable. The CDC said whatever we use on our face, we should wash because as soon as you use it, you get contaminated. Your respirations have humidity. You spray it when you say it. So we want to be able to wash these. And bras are really sturdy for washing. The disposable masks we use in the medical setting get thrown out after each use. But with a bra, it's very easy to find the cup size that fits your face, put it on, wrap it around, I apologize, wrap this around, and then you could hook it to the other side with a safety pin. If your face is larger, then you need a bra with a bigger cup, and then just find a bra with a bigger cup, of course, wrap it around, and then attach it to the side. But what I don't see anybody talking about, which I think would be a fantastic barrier, and I think it might even be more effective than a lot of things out there, is the ace wrap. All right, these ACE wraps are made, one, to be flexible, two, to be breathable, and they can conform to your face. And so having a face wrap such as this is really easy to apply. So basically you would put it on and then you would wrap it around. And I know we use ACE wraps for orthopedic issues, but you know, lots of things are being repurposed these days. And what's really nice about ACE wraps is rather than a loop, you have the little clasps. Or in this particular case, I have Velcro, see? There's a Velcro piece. So once I put it around my mouth, I can just Velcro it to the side and not have to worry about it. And then I could just kind of conform it and move it around and make sure I feel comfortable. If I feel like I've been talking too much and making one side wet, I could just turn it around and use a better sort of cleaner area until I could go ahead and wash these. Of course, this does not replace good hand washing, avoidance, make sure you have social distancing, and just, you know, use caution, try to avoid people who are sick. But good hand washing is key, and I hope you guys are safe out there.